Howdy y'all, my name is Bruce and this is Do Your Dailies, where we do the daily, which today is cast 20 white or green spells. Uh, I kinda wanna just go green though. So let's, let's, let's do some stompy, huh? Let's do some stompy. Um... I don't, I mean, what is, what's, what's there to say about it? It's green creatures go big and go home, right? Like, Ox Ryan knows. Like, I don't have to explain it to Ox Ryan. Alright, Pelt Collector? Yeah, this seems fine. This seems fine, Ox Ryan. I don't like that. Get that out of here. Alright, well... Llanowar Elves. Probably dying. Which is sad. Runaway Steamkin? Alright, we're just dead. Jeez. Okay. Let's go with the Growth Chamber Guardian. Uh, we really need to get uh, Biogenic Ooze out on the field. That's gonna be... God, that was bad. That was bad. This should be a 2-2 right now. That should be a 2-2. That was my fault. That was my fault. Okay. Uh, we need another land before we can get to... Well, there goes Pelt Collector, who should be a 2-2, so this should not work, but it does, because I fucked up. Okay, Lava Runner, nice. Uh-huh, swinging with that 3-3, there, big boy, look at that. No blocks. Alright, so, not this turn. Incubation Druid, okay. Alright, that's good. Let's go Branch Walker, see what we got coming. Uh, I wouldn't be mad with a land. Uh, I, I don't want that, actually, so let's graveyard that. Uh, and then Incubation Druid. Ow, okay. Oh boy. We are not in a good spot. I guess I could have uh, held Growth Chamber Guardian back to try to make it look like we were gonna try to super block the Steamkin. All right, so light up the stage coming in quick here. Or skewer the critics, I guess. They're deciding. We watched the hand of judgment pass over us. Not knowing where it will stop. Well, hey, guess where it stopped? Right there. Well, crap. <laughs> oh, we get ooze out next turn. No blocks. If they don't play a land, ooze is looking pretty good. Okay. All right. Yeah, we got it. We got it. You got it all. All right. Shut up. Jesus. Well, we can't play ooze. So let's branch walker hoping to hit a hit a land. And uh, pass the turn. This way we can at least block. They did, depending on what's in their hand. Okay, what's this? Okay, pass the blockers. You can block there. And you can block there. This has first strike, right? Yeah. Now this is where you blow me out. Do I want to search up for it? Yes, I do. That guy, right there. He's a crab. That's an elf. Uh-huh. Okay. Blow me out. Come on. Hey, that guy looks familiar. Okay. Alright. Whew. Well, this is a pretty good guy to get out on the field. 
it's a pretty good guy to get on out there. Nice. Nice. No actions. No attacks, I mean. I'm gonna hold my action. Okay. Oh, this is Grody. What'd you draw, Ryan? What'd you draw? Lava Runner? Okay. It's cool. Can't really attack well. Which makes me pretty gosh dang happy. Uh, can we make another one of these, please? Thank you, thank you. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna hope that they use the mana from Steamkin at some point. I think that's the goal, right? Actually, end step, let's do this. Because, uh, this is gonna become a four. No attacks. No attacks. Resolve that. Uh-huh. Yep. So resolve that. Resolve that. Yeah, how about this? Like this? Yeah, that seems good. That seems okay to me, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's pass the turn. Oh, biogenic ooze. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're not in a great spot still. But we can start attacking for lethal. Uh, that is saying something here. Okay. Growth Chamber Guardian. Adapt it. Right away. Blowout. Okay. You got us. You got us. Okay. Um... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. I like that. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Now my guys get bigger. How much is it to make the thing? It's four. Okay, okay, so we're definitely gonna have to make one next turn. I mean, I'm, I'll block. I'll make, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Nice. That's not my face. That's not my face. I am happy. Well, let's see. If I do this, that leaves back two blockers. One of which will grow big and strong. So I think we're in a good spot here. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, get that point of damage in. I don't blame you. All right, so now we got a, a nice blo size blocker here. So it doesn't matter what card they have here, we win. I will block, yes. Good game. That was, that was pretty stompy. Turns out Biogenic Ooze is a good card. They got, they got stuck on lands, but, but, they had an almost empty hand at the end of the game, so being stuck on lands didn't really hurt them that much. Really didn't hurt them that much at all. All right. All right, let's stomp some more. Let, let's do some more stomping. Let's do some more stomping. Drink this delicious 
Arnold Palmer that I have uh, made for myself. Thank you very much. Alberto, if you would like, there's some more uh, lemonade in the in the kitchen. Make some tea for you. Uh, Galta, Lanawar, sure. We got to draw something worthwhile, right? Right? <laughs> right, guys? Guys? Okay. You never know. Getting a biogenic ooze out just essentially gets us a Galta. Essentially, right? I would much rather have, you know, a Merfolk Branchwalker than one of these oozes. Oozai? Oozes? Yeah, oozes. Because, you know, that, that just makes it closer to Galta time. Rawr. Alberto, really thinking here over whether or not they're going to play a land. Whenever this happens, I'm just assuming the person's like walking back towards their computer with a peanut butter and banana sandwich and they're just like, I wonder if we got a match yet. Oh, whoa. Wait a second. I forgot to get my lemonade. And so then they'll go get their lemonade. Then they come back with their lemonade and they're like, what do you mean we used a timeout? Alberto's not there. Alberto is not here. Which makes me happy because apparently they're on mono red and I would be completely fucked. Uh, hey, we are two turns away from getting an ooze out on the field. So I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm... Damn it, Alberto! You are here! Yeah, hurry up and kill it. Oh, you're just attacking. Okay. You got... You bolt the bird, Alberto. Yeah, two can play at that game. Motherfucker, I can swing in two, Alberto. What do you think about that? Okay. You don't think much about that. Okay, got it. Alright, so... Play the ooze, because it's going to make a creature. Oh, which makes Galta just a little bit cheaper. They are almost assuredly going to destroy one of my Uzai. Oozes. Yep, there it goes. Weird. Did not see that one coming. However, we can block the Firebrand, so that's good. If I were them, I'd use the Firebrand to just kill off the Llanowar now. You know, because it's not getting in anymore. Alright, they got the land for next turn. That's good for them, I guess. All right, Druid and Jade Light Ranger, I think. I think that is the way we are going to go with this. Uh, I don't like... One of the things that sucks about the Jade Light Ranger is it's going to just get killed by Firebrand, isn't it? So do we not play it until we bait out Firebrand doing something? I don't know. Get in there. Alright, well, I'm not playing it in, into Firebrand. Uh-huh, Pyromancer's a good card. Wizard's Lightning is now on deck. Ooh, dos. Okay, well, in that case, let's ooze. Make make our make our oozy boy here, and then uh, growth chamber guardian. Galta's really cheap, y'all. Uh, no attacks, no attacks. I I think next turn we are definitely going to be able to attack. Uh, because we're gonna have a Galta on the field. Alright, I like that. I like that a lot. That is good. Okay. You have a 3-3 three, three ooze. Uh... 
No blocks, right? Or do we block? No blocks. I guess I'll take three. I'm glad that Act of Treason went there. Wild Growth Walker? Into Jade Light Ranger? Seems okay to me. Sure, you can kill the Jade Light Ranger, but I still get to explore, then explore again. Now that Jade Light's gaining me some life. A graveyard with that. No, thank you. Yes and yes, that seems pretty good and pretty... There we go, Alberto! It was, it was nice to see ya. It was a wonderful game. Ooh. That was a well-timed Wild Growth Walker. Should, should, should we do it again? Should we stop again? I think we should stop again. Let's go stop. Let's go stop a little bit. As you can see, I took uh, things like Thorn Lieutenant and... Uh, uh, what's what's the other one that gets that's normally played in this deck? Anyways, I took those out for Incubation Druid and uh, Biogenic Ooze. Ooh. I can't. I cannot keep a one... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will keep this, though. I will keep this. I can't keep a one-mana hand, regardless of how good it, it could look, right? Alright. Depending on what they are playing, we could be in a good spot or a bad spot, you know? Uh, this, this is an okay hand against some of the more dirtily decks. Uh, Gates would probably just wreck this. Uh, land go, Zim. I hope you are not invading any time so Okay. Is it that blue? It's that blue. Okay. Well, gaining life is still good. Uh-huh. You are rather curious. I see, I see, I see. Really hoping for a land so we can branch walker. Like this. This is this is the thing. Branch walker. Library. Life gain's good. Now do this is an instant, so we're gonna hold off. Uh, hopefully we can get Zim to waste their mana on something. Yep. It is smart of you to attack. Uh-huh. We're hoping Zim, uh, taps out, because this Curious Obsession is the thing that we care about. Huh. They almost certainly have a spell piercer in the gate. My turn. Uh Nice. Oh, it's dead. Oh, no. All right. Well, let's Growth Chamber Guardian. Getting them off of the uh, ability to uh, draw a card every turn seems okay to me. Of course you have another one. Who wouldn't just have another Cures of Sentient? God damn it, son of a bitch. Uh, yeah, I don't think we beat Mono Blue. I'm just saying, we probably don't beat Mono Also, Zim, I'm just saying, don't do it now. 
Do it when I play Merfolk Branch Walker. Cause if if you could you could blow me out, Zim, is what I'm saying here. What is it? It's three. Okay. Um. No attacks, unfortunately. I don't have any profitable ones. I'm just saying, you know, like if I'm playing Merfolk Branch Walker. Do the trickster on the walker. Oh no. Go all in. Aw. Dar. Alright, now they almost certainly can Tempest Gin and close this out very easily. Some. I know a lot of them do this. It's weird. But yeah, okay, whatever. Storm Tamer, okay. Nice. Okay. Y you got me. I would like to take the action, yes. This guy right here. So, what do we do? Let's. These guys have flying. We're not blocking them anyways. So whatever. Right? We don't care. We don't, you, you can't tell us what to do, Zim. Okay? You think this is your game? It's not your game. It's Yeah. Zim, you've, you've won the game, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'll gladly. Yeah, that's that's fine with me. Yep. Yep, that resolves. It wasn't gonna do anything anyways, so yeah, yeah, that's fine. At this point, it's just a matter of time before you win, Zim. Honestly, surprised that's just now coming out. What are you thinking about, Zim? You win next turn. Don't overthink it. Okay? Yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, look at him. He got bigger. And there you go, Zim. Not much we could do. You know, taking out the early obsessed creature is pretty key, so that was nice being able to do that. Unfortunately, they literally instantly played another one, got that card advantage going. Not much we could do about it. Maybe, maybe, and let's uh let's pull up the deck list while we say this. Uh we should have more than two crawl harpooners? I have two in here, just in case, you know. Maybe we should go down two pelt collectors, throw in two more harpooners. Because harpooners is pretty good against a lot of the field right now. You know, mono blue, all of their creatures are flying. Unless they're the version that plays Miss Cloaked Herald, but... Uh, you know, drakes, you can take it out with harpooner. Harpooner seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Anyways, this is the deck list as I was playing it. I threw these um, brawls in here because they seemed like the best uh, fight card currently because Biogenic Ooze, it only costs one. It's an instant. That's pretty good. You know, like a lot, a lot of these creatures can get plus one counters, you know? Incubation Druid. Like literally everything except for what? Harpooner? And Lana Worlds and uh, Galta, but we don't care about Galta. You know, if you have Galta down it, this is fine. It's fine. At that point, is fine. Uh, it, so it seemed like a, a good removal spell for the deck. And it worked out okay. Uh, maybe it's not right, but 
in this build it seemed okay. Uh, maybe just, I mean, Mono Green Stompy is not currently, you know, the deck to beat for a reason. I don't think having four copies of Biogenic Ooze puts it over the top anyways, but it's still a great card. Yeah, like, uh, I w I'm going to have to build uh, the, the Simic deck that's like four Biogenic Ooze, four Krasis, Wilderness Reclamation, Chemistry's Insight, you know, the whole nine yards, otherwise known as uh, goodcards.deck. I think is the actual title, right? I think that's what it's called. Uh, anyways, we got the coinage. So you know what that means. We're gonna buy some packs. One pack of Dominaria coming up. I haven't bought a pack of Dominaria in a while. Wasn't worth it. Weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, Anyways, hopefully you guys liked the video. I enjoyed making it. Uh, if you did, do do all the YouTube things. I mean, you don't have to. It's just a it's just a recommendation. You know, it warms the. I almost said cockles again. That'd be like three videos in a row that I've said cockles. That's not a word that you should use in your everyday language, Bruce. Don't do that. Now you're talking in third person. That's just not good. Anyways, if you liked the video, that'd be great if you clicked the like button. Do the subscribe button, Martinga. Uh, I'm going to go have a wonderful day. It's it's 60 degrees out, which is ridiculous for this time of year. Uh, hopefully, you have a good day too. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Yeah.